everyone, I'm Simon Toskin. That's Buff Pro. We're the greatest YouTubers to ever exist. Ever. Ever. Hey, 1,000 Pound Sisters is also back. Yay! New season. Hooray! <laughs> Wee! Just to catch you guys up on everything that's happened, uh... Uh, then the last season, if you're just joining us, then uh, or even just need a refresher. Tammy had her surgery. She had a weight loss surgery. And so yeah. she's been she's losing. She's been losing weight. Uh, her husband, Caleb, who they got married, he has passed away. That didn't happen in the season. Like, I think he's still in the episodes. But we know outside of the show that he, he has died. Uh, the reasons of his death. I, I was looking this up before we started recording. I can't figure out like how he actually died. They said those. They say there's no foul play, and then he died in the hospital. They were trying to resuscitate him. People were with him before he lost consciousness, but the actual like what happened to him has, as far as I know, hasn't been released. If you know, let me know in the comments. But I couldn't find anything, which I don't. I don't, I don't understand the family's privacy and everything, but at the same time, I like I I don't like. Not knowing because it makes me think that they're hiding it for a reason. Right, right. But at the same time, it's not my business. You know, it's it's um, man's died and, you know, well, I can let it go. It's fine. And Michael and Amy are divorced, but that hasn't happened yeah, yet in the season either. Left. It's coming. It's coming. They've been oh, they've gosh. been building up to it. Like they had that one episode where like they're out there at the family picnic and like she's like crying because the babies or something like that. And it, was, it was like kind of a weird situation a weird scenario they made for the cameras but it's like the production crews already already knows that they're probably on their way like to breaking up or whatever and are setting that up so more of that will probably happen but anyway so we're going back to the the rehab is where we're starting here you know, tammy and caleb so we get home oh man get out of this place i always oh, i hate I, I hate it when it's like this i hope we did make it out that oh you don't know no they they the the story was that they got they they left um wherever this place that they're in and they had moved out but then they were separated like she like had kicked him out or he had left or whatever they were they were married but they were not living together when he passed away oh yeah gosh okay it's i guess it's a little different like when you're watching a movie of like a, an actor who's passed away it's like it's 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 different to me because it's like they're playing a character but this is like the dude's life this is like a reality tv and he's he's here and i'm like right. oh man anyway i'm really happy with caleb he's the best thing that has possibly ever happened to me so sweet so and then the, the reason again i go back to like not knowing like the details of what happened is because you know me i'm always trying to like poke holes in like the reality tv thing and like I I don't th I'm not saying it is happening, but it would be very disappointing to me if Caleb was like being used to like promote Tammy, like and like you know what I mean? Like oh he was the, oh yeah mm, oh remember you know I always got to bring him up every chance they get oh remember he oh remember him you know that like it's very cynical point of view, but I would just hate it if that was the case because I wouldn't put it past him. Oh boy, that's that's <laughs> crazy to think about when you think about it like that. Ah. <laughs> The dark side of TV. <laughs> dark side of TV. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's a real thing. <laughs> they won't let us sleep in the same bed for safety reasons. <laughs> safety reasons. Dang. This apartment still kind of feel like roommates. You know they're in there doing the deed, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what is that on the table right there? What is that, by the way, now that I'm looking at it? What is, is that the Astroglide? <laughs> what, what, what is that? They left the lube out there what? and peroxide. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta, you gotta clean up afterwards. <laughs> Remember, I told you we got a ride coming. A ride coming. One hundred percent. He's someone I'm comfortable with. I mean, if I'm farting in front of him, that says a lot. <laughs> no, no, it, no, it does not. You guys farting all over <laughs> each other all the time. That's like a whole thousand pound sister joke of you guys farting. I don't want to hear that. Right? <laughs> Everybody tells me that Tammy and I are such a cute couple. In my opinion, we're the kind of couple that makes people sick. What do you mean by that? <laughs> I don't know. What does that mean? Are people fat shaming them or are they just, they, they send so much love that everybody's like, oh my God, get a room. Oh. <laughs> Hello. What you need? Oh my God. She's so excited to be there. Wow. She like stared right in the camera when she came in. Hello. Hey, everybody. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I think one of the hardest part about being new the ways and in a facility What 
was that? Someone interrupt her uh, scene? She didn't, want to, she didn't want to talk in front of that one nurse. Yeah. Like, eh. She's about to get up and tell him, how dare you interrupt my scene? <laughs> Which reminds me about another thing. Uh, I don't remember if we did a video on it or not, or someone sent it to us, but they were showing uh, the Thousand Pound Sister at the beach. You know, they were filming and the... Uh, uh, like the production crew was like asking people not to film and like, uh, I don't know, it made, it, it made them sound like they were like special needs or something, you know, and like it would be shameful to record them. Wow. And it, it was just like, the, it was the thousand, it was them just out there with their family, like having a day at the beach. No, that was it. it That's crazy. It, it, was, it, was, <laughs> it was weird. Some other bigger important things is that Drake is out. When they told me my Drake was going to get taken out, I was crying legit. Oh yeah, that was a big thing too in the last season. Like she was like wanting to get out of the, out of the place, and but they had to have like special care to take care of, like make sure Trigami doesn't get effect, infected, and the whole family oh, was like, yeah. well, "I ain't taking no class to take care of you." <laughs> <I> remember that? <laughs> the uh, the selfishness the selfishness really showed out in that episode. Yeah, yeah, it did. Why well, we want you better, but you know not that much better. Like, look, Tammy, look, we, we we want you out. We love you and everything, but we're tired of taking care of you, okay? Take care of yourself. <laughs> we ain't dealing. Because of the trick, I had to stay in rehab what is she? for mm. over a year. I mean, hey, as long so as they're moving, I guess. You know, I, don't, <laughs> I think I've seen this on Jim Fails. <laughs> <laughs> what are some single arms right there? Yeah. I'll be the one getting my clothes out of the closet. I'll be the one doing the dishes, cooking for myself. Uh, well, us. Right. Tomorrow, Caleb gets to talk to the doctor. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah. I'll be cooking for myself. I mean, us. He's like, that's right. Make me a sandwich. <laughs> like, whoa. You, you, Caleb, you gonna cook anything? What's up? What oh, my God. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, it looked like just the way that it's blurred, it looks like there's like an arm and like a little square head and two eyes, like a little creeper back here, like two legs. Oh, wow. I like, see like it. Like yeah. someone back there, like camouflaged. I was like, whoa, what the hell is going on? What is that? Is this like, whoa, what is that actually? Is that like a... Someone needs to put their toys away, all right? That is... Oh! All right, okay. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Man! <laughs> I've seen towns like this, boy. Yeah. Ugh. Takes me back home right here. Got your golf cart going down the road. Oh. Everything's closed and not a business? <laughs> so, hmm. I, was, I just had a thought. People they go to like they go to college, you go they go to university, like they go to like a campus where you can walk everywhere and people like say, Oh, I really miss college. I think what I miss most about going to a, a campus is just it being walkable. Like you could go walk, see your friends, go to the gym, go get something to eat, go back home, all in like a short span of time of just walking places. Yeah. And it was great. Yeah. And then you get to the real world and you gotta get your golf cart to go down to like the piggly wiggly. <laughs> Like where we live now, we can just, I can walk the kids to school. I can walk, I can walk and go pick up some pizza. I can walk and go everywhere I need. And it's great. I can go to the doctor. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's the convenience of sidewalks, man. The convenience crazy. of infrastructure that makes sense. <laughs> there they are. Today, we're going to get a family photos. All right. Hi. Hey, guys. Gage is two years <laughs> old and Glenn, he is six <laughs> months. Boy, <laughs> he'll grow up and he's gonna he be mean mugging somebody, just looking at him like, like that's his happy face right well, there. But he's looking at you like, that's Michael Jr. right he's there. He's like, boy. You, he's like, you talking to me? Boy, you quick. Come here. Come here, buddy. Getting your kids to take pictures is very, is very difficult. We have a big family picture <laughs> of uh, like all the kids together. <laughs> Davey had to be photoshopped into it because he was just, oh, no. he was just so upset. <laughs> Like they, they did a really good job though. Like he, like it's him. He's he finally got him to smile. And he's leaning over, and there was like a space for him, and they put him in it, and it, it, looked, it looks good. Mary's prop, Mary's gonna be mad at me for giving away the secret that he got photoshopped in, but still, it's a very, it's a very, very nice picture. You can't even tell. They did a okay. great job. All right. But man, that was a uh, that was a stressful day for me. I remember, but we got them pictures. <laughs> I, bet. I bet. I had to learn how to deal with one baby, make a bottle, and hold a different baby at the same time. Good. All right, go ahead and stand up. Come on. I'm glad, I'm glad she learned that that skill. I ain't yeah. gonna start knocking on her parenting. I ain't gonna do it. I'm still like, I watch Mary. Mary's got you know. I'll come out of here from recording. And Mary's got like two kids under her arms. Three babies, like, on. <laughs> <laughs> three babies on one arm and the other one over here helping. Making making a bottle with her toes. You know she's got it all going on. And she'd be like, Hey, how you doing? Not even breaking a sweat. She's a different beast though. Here we go. Hey. <laughs> 
<laughs> there he goes. Hey, hey. Oh. That's the, t- that's the tough part. <laughs> you trying to make them kids stay still. Mm-mm. <laughs> Ain't easy. I'm trying to get stuff ready for Tammy, trying to chase after the boys, trying to chase after Michael. And it's just a lot. And now she's chasing after Michael. Oh, yeah. I got to chase after him, too. What's he doing? Where's he running off to? I mean, Michael ain't running nowhere. Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Michael's just kind of sitting. He ain't, <laughs> the only thing is leaving. <laughs> I, can, I can still sympathize with her because when you're in a situation like this where you feel like you got to, you know, you got a lot going on, you, you like every little thing is a big deal, right? Right. And, right. But like, like looking at it like they're like, like they don't have to go and work or anything. They, they got the show and they, they film, you know, I don't know, a month out of the year. And other than that, they're chilling. So I, I imagine that the reality of it is probably pretty chill. Maybe it's harder than I think it is. I don't know. You know? I got approved to go home because I got my trach removed. Oh, they moving. They going home. Today, Caleb okay. has an appointment. To find out if he can get his strike removed and come home with me. She's already right. packing up. Okay, so <laughs> I like that. Like today, we figure out if he's going to be able to get his removed. But I'm leaving either way. <laughs> but I'm going anyway. <laughs> I'm already gone. <laughs> They're not going to approve me to go home. Mm. The doctor doesn't think I'm ready to get the trach out yet. And that's why she's trying to get everything packed up. All right, yeah, yeah. You got the monsters back there? God dang. I know there's like a like a <laughs> touching moment, but I'm going to say like, you know, they, they, that's what she's already packing up because they already knew the answer here. But uh, right, right. Yeah, obviously, like she's been losing a lot of weight. She's been doing her thing. She got the surgery done. And it's been a running thing with Caleb that he's been known to not put in the work uh, like he's, right. like he's well, supposed to. I was going to say she's she's visibly went through change. Yeah, she's lost 300 pounds since, you know, the the surgery or whatever. And mm-hmm. He almost looks the same. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If if not heavier than I remember, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's that's but not at least the same. That's not even like not a slight at him. Like that, that's just been like a thing on the show they even talked about too. Like they're worried about like her progress because he's known to to not uh, stick with it. Right. <sighs> Where the tears at? Let me see him. You have. She ain't even crying. She ain't even crying. <laughs> She's just ready to go home, bro. She happy. <laughs> yeah, eyes ain't even watery. No, I would never in a million years ask you to stay. I want to go. Oh, what was that? Hang on, I guess I'm... <laughs> they're killing me with this. I don't know. I want to go. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> She's already made up her mind. She's out of here. Okay, you got your sports from your mom. Let's see that. Gage is a typical two-year-old. <laughs> they like to move, and they like to move fast. I ain't never seen a two-year-old be fast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my third two-year-old, and they don't go nowhere fast. They look like they're trying to go fast. But they, <laughs> they try. <laughs> I'm so happy for Tammy to get her fat ass home. I just need a chill buddy who's an adult. <laughs> She got Michael. I thought he. I thought that's the whole problem. He's too chill. What? Uh, <laughs> all of a sudden, she's uh, my family's gonna put her off on me. They always do. Now it's I'm looking forward to Tammy coming home. Yeah. That's my homie. Yeah, I know, right? Like, which it's, one is it? It's so it's so back and forth all the time. I can't wait. She gets yeah. back. I got a chill, buddy. I can't handle taking care of her. <laughs> <laughs> right. But I guess it's different if, she, if she's like self sufficient. She just comes over and chills, then goes you know goes home. Does it oh, over, over yeah, stay welcome? True. Where's the man at, though? You guys got the bed together yet? Oh, no, where's Chris at? Look, making mama proud. No, uh, no, not her. <laughs> so I'm just excited to put my house on. Where are they moving her in After at? After Tammy's house got robbed. We've just oh, yeah, Tammy's okay. house got robbed. Now I guess they're, like, moving her in. I don't know. Is this her a new house? house? But bringing, her, Tammy, bringing her new stuff? Take over my old house. Her old house. Oh, she's renting something. She's renting uh, her old house to Tammy. Oh, she's, okay. the, <laughs> she's, the, she's the property mogul. You know, she's... I got this old house here, you know. Ain't nobody living in it, but you know, you can pay me to live in it. Hey, what's up, y'all? There he is. There the man. That's what I'm talking about. He's feeling a little self-conscious about his button stretching, so he's kind of, you know, touching it when he comes in. Yeah, he's holding it together. And I noticed that when I come and sit down on it, like I'm afraid that they might slide. Look. Hmm? <laughs> when. He- <laughs> There is something wrong with them on that level. Do you remember the uh, the last the season finale when they're all at the um, the wedding or whatever? Her and like half the other family is like just like 
grinding on random dudes. Yeah, yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah. Or remember the workout? They oh, they were thirsty, man. Them. They were super thirsty. There, there's, yeah. um, I don't know if it's their character for the show or if they really like it, but there, there's some some pent up sexual energy going on <laughs> right there in front of the kids, and they're just like, uh, they look at the exact same yeah, face. Like you just copy mom. paste the face on two different bodies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Character <laughs> creation, same guy, just different haircut. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm worried about her going out to eat. And because when you go out to eat, you know, you end up eating stuff you really don't need. She's grown. She can do it. She's going to do what she wants to do, but we can be there to help her. Oh, I've, I've seen this family help, and I think they drive her to more stress and more eating than they, they help with, honestly. Right. <laughs> like she's losing the weight in rehab away from everybody, you know? Yeah, here's 27 <laughs> pounds of, of barbecue, yeah. and they just drop it off <laughs> right, to you. They, they brought the barbecue <laughs> to them. <laughs> and some alligator meat, you know, yeah. or whatever they all had. It's been close to eight years since I had the first gastric bypass, but. That her? I, I, maybe that was at the peak of the surgery. <laughs> like the. I was doing right. <laughs> <laughs> She's going back for surgery too, bro. I'm just saying. I know. <laughs> Looking to have a revision young Chris to too? help combat the weight gain that I've achieved. <laughs> That's an achievement. Achieved? How about you ask a fat? Ooh. How dare you? Ooh. They would say it if it was Tammy. <laughs> That's the first thing they tell her. <laughs> the only thing I got left to do to have surgery is pass a nicotine screen. I'm more of a social <laughs> nicotine screen. That reminds me of something Mary was telling me. Uh, I don't know if it happens later in the season or if it's like a it, it was like on social media or what it was, but it was it was about Amy and and like how much she smokes and like whether or not she smokes with like all the kids in the house and everything. And they got all really? these guys like smoke, but they never they never show anybody smoke. Like no, they, not they one never time. they never show anybody smoke, but they all they all smoke a lot apparently. Uh, which uh, wow, yeah, I'm, mm. I'm not surprised. It's just interesting, and like because it's uh, it's like the reality reality TV thing. Like you start out and they're like talk, focusing on the drama and like how they're failing on their weight loss journey and making them you know making them look bad. Now they're like building them up for this big wholesome like good good thing, but it's like anything that makes them look bad. And that goes back to yep. like Caleb's death. Like if it, if it was like something far more like worse that could be like blamed on Tammy, and like it's like Ooh. that's why nobody knows like exactly what happened to him. As far as like as far as I'm aware right now, you guys in the comments may have already told me what happened, but they're they're, they're pretty careful about stuff like that now, and they don't like they don't show like you don't even see cigarettes laying around. I'm, I'm looking for him. Like I'm trying to I'm trying to find him. Okay, you know? I'm right, looking for the ashtray. Right. Misty has been smoking <laughs> almost as long as I've been alive. It's going to be hard to quit smoking. Well, I feel like for me, it's it's not the cigarette so much that I miss as it is the the motion of look, dude. <laughs> they even blurted it out like, wow. I feel like it'd be easy for her to quit smoking. You know, <laughs> <laughs> she's already got a replacement. I don't get it. <laughs> she just misses the motion, Dane. Uh, I, I miss that. Too damn. <laughs> Stay oh, out God. there, you got please, Jeez. please throw it at me, please. <laughs> Tammy tells me she's ready to be independent and self-sufficient, you know, and I'm really excited. But at the same time, you know, I'm leery because I don't think she's prepared for leaving Caleb behind. It, it gets someone. It's, it's starting to wear on my nerves a lot. Like how, like they just prepare. They're prepared. They're always like no faith, like doomsaying. Like oh man, she can't. She can't handle this. She can't do that. She can't do that. It's got to be bad for Tammy's like self esteem when it comes to this stuff too. Like she's out there doing it, accomplishing yeah, it, and her whole yeah. family's like oh she can't. She's gonna. She can't do. I'm worried about everything. Well, ever. for a long time, she she kept getting mad about because they would always constantly say it. But at that point. Mm. It was true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now exactly. she's like actively doing it, and you're right. That's probably gonna weigh on her too. It's gonna be like, dang, bro. Like, yeah, let's celebrate this. How about you know? All this progress, you know. Like, <laughs> anyway, that'll be the end of this episode. That'll be in this episode here. We got we made it halfway through the first one, so uh, yeah. <laughs> you just kind of get my, my, most of it's getting caught up and see what everybody's going on. But anyway. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday. Say hello to my friends. I love you. See you next time. Bye-bye.